Salutations, my fellow dandies. It's me, Jack Dandy, and I'm T playing Hitman 3. Even got my words out. Uh, yeah, so Hitman is adding a new map at the end of the month, and I was like, ooh, I wonder if... It's been a while since I've played Hitman 3. I wonder if there are any cool new weapons worth going and unlocking. Uh, and there is. Uh, there's a gun called the Ducky Gun, which you can get by doing the... There we go, the Ducky Gun. Oh, my head's covering the title, but there it is, the Ducky Gun. It's a 5mm pistol that is uh, hidden, it's silenced, hidden during pat downs. It only has five bullets, but most importantly, it makes duck noises when you fire it. So I want it. So the way to get it is to complete these three elusive target arcades. I've never done any of these before. So I thought, ah! I'm going to be playing video games anyway. Why not stream it? See. Might, might be a giggle. I don't know whether I'm going to do order all three of them today. But I'll, I'll have a crack. But I thought kind of boring just to just do eliminations. Uh, by the way, the way these work is if I uh, fail, I get locked out for 12 hours and can't try again. Uh, so I, I, I've basically, if I fail any one of these three within a contract... I get locked out and have to start over again after 12 hours. So, so, so the stakes are real. Well, the stakes are there. Normally with elusive contracts, they were available for like a week. And then if you tr you had one, again, one go at them, and if you failed, that was it. You couldn't try them again. Uh, you can restart so long as you haven't killed. This one, it's once you've killed the target, you're locked in. So if you kill the target or you die, you fail. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I thought it'd be a bit boring just to kind of do these normally. So, I'm going to impose some rules on myself. A, no restarts. Because I think it's, it, yeah, because it's just going to be funnier to try and compensate. B, I'm only going to try and kill the elusive target. I say try because, as opposed to just like slaughtering all of the security guards and stuff, because sometimes you can go to every measure to only kill the elusive target, and then the elusive target falls on someone and kills them. Because uh, some Hitman can be a bit janky sometimes with the corpses and explosions and things. So I'm only going to aim to kill an elusive target. If someone gets killed on the collateral, that's not my problem. And three, I'm going to try and kill each elusive target in a different way. I think there are at least nine ways that I can kill people in this game. So if I poison one, I can't poison the other ones. Because otherwise, I, it, poison's always my go-to. For elusive targets, shoot them with the with the poison pistol, and then drown them in the toilet. That's normally my go-to because it's the best way to do it with the uh, with the suit. Um, so yeah, just mix it up a bit. It might mean that I fail all of these in spectacular fashion immediately, and then the stream's over. But I've only got like two hours to stream tonight anyway, so maybe that's okay. So I. I haven't done many elusive targets. As it happens, I have done all three of these in the Deja Vu's before. So that works out quite nicely, because I know what to do with these three. I haven't done these two, any of the six in these two, though. So I'm going to be going, going blind on those. But let's start Deja Vu. Let's get our mission brief from Diana. Good morning, <coughs> Self-confidence led to arrogance, putting civilians' lives there we go. at risk. Her handler, believing she was becoming a hazard, brought it up as the board. Miss Bayswater did not take well to this betrayal, and went out of her way to seek revenge on the one she felt had stabbed her in the back. Now she has broken free and set up her own business as a final insult to our client, destroying the natural order. They have made multiple attempts to get rid of her, but she is always one step ahead. And this is why they have turned to us. They might be too proud to admit it, but they need the best. Well, uh, unfo unfortunately, they've got me, but I'll, I'll try my best. So funny thing, she's supposed to be this, like, a, a rival Hitman in a different organization. But the way Hitman does AI, there's only two types of AI, and it's civilian and security. And so she counts as a civilian, which means... She's if you try and, like, beat her up, she doesn't fight back. They really should 
when they admit the next Hitman game, like, have a middle ground for, I don't know, professionals or something. I don't know. All right, let's plan. Um, I don't know why I have my Father Christmas costume as my default costume. Uh, I might be that it was the last one I used on that map. We'll go with the red suit. It honestly doesn't matter. Any of these suits all have the same... Like, it doesn't matter if I go dressed as Father Christmas. People will... Um, pe it doesn't affect anything. They'll they'll still treat me the, exactly the same. Although there is some unique dialogue for Father Christmas. Uh, let's take the lethal poison. Give myself some options. This is normally my go-to with the, is the poison gun. Regular gun and lock-up in case I need it. And then my poison pills. Let's go. Well, when am I starting the parking lot? Do I want to be in the parking lot? Uh... So there's a couple of ways to do this one. There's a couple of places I can electrocute her. I can poison her. I can... Poison's probably the easiest one. If I start as a waiter... I could probably go straight over to the sushi and poison. But I think the guy currently manning the sushi table is another... Is an enforcer, which means he sees through my costume. So I have to get rid of him. I remember... I think I remember... They might have fixed it, though, because they have changed some things. You used to be able to get the sniper team to kill her. Um, so let's go, let's go for the parking lot. In fact, I'll add an extra restriction now. No starting in... Uh, costume. Uh, I'll always start with a suit and work m and figure out from there. <laughs> I like the red suit because you can really pick me out from a distance. Um. Oh, I do. Oh, I do need to. I do need to get into the uh, party. Uh, there's an invitation around here somewhere. I don't know why I've done this mission. Uh, oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, sorry. I just, I'm just stealing your invitation. I could have started in the shrine and ignored that and skipped that bit, but... So... Don't worry about me, just walk across the dance floor. Proper, proper, inco covertly, wearing a bright red suit, walking across the middle of the dance floor. I mean, the, the stealth in Hitman never makes any sense anyway, it's great. Uh, oh, so this is a rival Hitman called Corvo Black, he recognises me. So I have to be careful not to be seen by him. I don't think he actually has a problem with me, though. I think he just knows that I'm Agent 47. It's not like he, he sees me and then immediately is like, Ah! Security! Unless I start shooting people. Which, to be fair, most people do. Uh, I think I can't remember where she starts. I think she's over in the... the God damn it, it's really hard to tell which ones of these are doors and which ones are windows. I think she starts in the wine tasting room. What does she look like? Uh, she's got the white suit on. No, you may not. This is the most annoying part about elusive targets. It's actually trying to find the elusive target to start with. Okay, let's not worry about her. She'll, she, she'll be doing rounds. I know, I know she basically walks in a loop. And then she eventually makes her way over to... I think she's upstairs. This is a great map. I didn't like this map the first time I did it, because I thought it was quite similar to some others. But I've done it a few times now, and I really like it. Uh, so she comes to... Which table does she go to? She comes to this table and she has a drink of wine. So I need to get... 
I need to get him, ideally. Or someone similar. I think I can go in here and no one notices. Yeah. I'm not allowed in here, but no one actually... Okay, this sh I think I can... Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I can. No, no, no. And give me a close. Uh, I already have some poison. But let's take some extra. Oh, she, she's the enforcer. She knows that I'm not who I say I am. Oh, and so does she. Oh, there is actually an extra. Oh, so does she. Dang it. <laughs> it's because she might not be very good. Uh, I forgot there's an extra condition on this level that uh, additional people see through one or more disguises. Oh, this might be harder, actually. Oh, the chefs will see through. Oh, God damn it. I'm not going to be able to poison anyone like this. Alright, it's fine. Just need to stay out of the way of the yellow eyes. Uh, until she makes her way up here. <coughs> and then I can poison the wine. The thing that I've had trouble with before is I've poisoned the wine and then someone else has come over and drank it. Which, if that happens, that's not my fault. Like I said, if anyone who dies is collateral, not my problem. I'm just not going to go out of my. I'm just not going to intentionally kill anyone else. Um, but this is the bit I hate le I hate most about these games is the amount of waiting around. Once you kind of know what you what to do and you're waiting, you just have to kind of have to wait in an area for someone to show up. It's like I just want to press a button that makes this go quicker. Um, Evening. I don't know that I can. I don't know that I can blend in. Do I need to activate her? I'm sure she starts walking around on her own. I'm sure I don't need to actually like find her. Oh, I need a mole back. Um. Morbeck, where's the... Alright, the closest Morbeck's probably downstairs on one of the tables. Ah, oh, damn it. I forgot that there's no wax of wine in the glass. The Morbeck's the rare one as well, but I think I remember where one is. I'm okay, I'm okay. Oh, is that her? No, that's not her. Uh, Morbeck, Morbeck, Morbeck. Uh, it's a Pinot Noir. I can't serve her a Pinot Noir. I'll never live it down. Morbeck. That's it. We can shake it while we run. People like their wine shaken, right? Gets all the bits out. I, I, don't, I don't drink wine, but I assume it's just like orange juice. You can have it smooth or with bits in it. Yeah, pretty sure that's the case. Okay, I'm back. Get on my way. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I'm locked in. There we go. Oh, there she is. Okay. This is either going to go very well or very bad. Enjoy the kick. Alright. 
not quite the uh, smoothest exit, but I'm not in combat. I am suspicious, but that's fine. Where's the exit? Is it? Is the only exit through the vineyard? Okay, we're going down to the vineyard. Oh, I have been no, I have been compromised. That's fine. Oh, and now they are hunting me. That is bad. That's fine. This is fine. There any exits? I thought there were more exits on this level. Okay, this is fine. This route isn't great, but I can get down there this way. What would have been better is if I had remembered which way the friggin' vineyard was and just gone down there. But, uh... Come on, get, stop drinking. Alright, they're not hunting me anymore, I'm just compromised. And those two, unfortunately... Zero peripheral vision. And I think I don't count as... Yes, good. I don't count as uh, trespassing, because I'm still dressed as the butler, as the waiter. I think the last... Because th the thing is, the last time I've done most of these missions is when I've been doing the suit-only... Boom. That's one. <coughs> is when I've been doing the suit-only um, silent assassin challenge. And so I keep, I keep forget thinking like I have to sneak through the vineyard because I'm wearing my suit. But I don't have to. Alright. Three stars. Not the best. Not the worst. I've already unlocked everything for that level as well, so. Alright. And this is target number two. The Cody Haynes. This one's easy as well. Your target is Cody Haynes. Obsessive art collector currently in the process of procuring the complete oeuvre of Cecil Bardou. Haynes went <coughs> underground six years ago to escape his wife's family, after embezzling their fast food empire to pay for his art habit. Freed from all social ties, his collecting took a turn to a dark extreme. Intel shows that he not only needs to possess the artworks, but that he cannot accept any previous owners being left alive. Very, very accepted OCD. Is worried the killings will taint his business. Furthermore, he owns one of the paintings in his private collection, putting his name on Haynes' kill list. Your target's insatiable need to possess is leaving a bloody trail, and he must be stopped. Good luck, 47. So, this guy is. There's, there's a couple of ways. Again, I I only said it's easy because I remember this one. But this guy is pretty... Oh, okay. I don't know why I'm wearing the costumes that I am. But we'll start with the red. I like the red costume, so we'll go with that. When did that happen? Red. Uh, I think I can only start... Oh, I can start behind the mansion. Let's go there because I think he starts there. Um... This might be one where I can just shoot him and run away. Oh, but what's the what's the extra objective? Oh, hang on. Do I need to get the painting? Uh, client ref uh, offers a bonus if you manage to find or retrieve the painting. Additional people see through one or more disguises. Okay. Painting's easy. I know where that is. Uh... Okay, so I've poisoned one target, so we can't use poison anymore. Oh, so I take the emeritic poison and the classic lockpick. No, 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 no. We're using the Mark III lockpick. It does nothing extra, but I like it. Um, I could snipe him, though he's not outside very much. Hmm, he goes. So there's a, there's a couple of things I could do here. 
He goes into the change room at some point and changes clothes. Uh, and he's on his own at that point. So I can just kill him then, which is actually quite an easy way to get him. He also goes up into the library at some point. And if I get rid of the guard in there, he, he'll be alone in that room as well. The problem with that approach is that it takes ages because he has to walk all the way through the house. It takes like 20 minutes. So I don't really want to wait that long. Although I do need to go to the library anyway to... I suppose I can rely on that if I can't find another opportunity otherwise. So I'll tell you what, I'll put the sniper... I'll put a sniper in the... Uh... Oh, it's not. I can't put one in there. Okay. Well, let's kill him... A fiber wire, why not? If it comes to that, I'll kill him with a fiber wire and then that's out of the way. Stop changing my costume back. I want my red suit and my red highballer. There we go. <coughs> I don't have to get the painting actually looking at it. It looks like it's a, it's a bonus objective. Oh, I'm at the front entrance. Oh, well. I guess it reset when I backed out accidentally. This actually works out alright, because I know where a costume is quite e easily. And I know the route. Again, because I've done the, the suit-only Silent Assassin, I know... I know the route reasonably well on this one. Where I start to fall down a little bit are the levels that are like uh, based on Hitman One and Two, which I haven't I haven't played as much in Hitman Three, and so I don't have as much stuff unlocked. Right, first of all, unlock this. We can take the match and master key, which is just just useful. Um, and then I can go back out into the hallway. Sneak around the back of this lady. Into the toilet. Oh. Gonna be like, oh, I should probably wait for her to leave, but I don't have time. Oh no, that's not where I stash bodies. Hide in there for me. Unfortunately, I can't wear her maid outfit, which is very disappointing. I know. Oh, let's take the banana. Do you know, I put, I think I put like 40 hours in this game before I figured out how you could actually... Oh, I thought I was wearing... This is a security outfit. Oh, I thought this was a, a house worker's outfit. Oh, well. I put about uh, 40 hours into this game before I realized you could had to put stuff on the floor. All right, so he knows that I'm not actually security, but that's fine. He's fortunately watching Downton Abbey or something. I can... Uh, Oh, she knows, though. Well, this does add an element. Like, I'm normally used to knowing where I can and can't go. So I could wait in here. He comes in here eventually um, uh, to change his costume. But that takes a little while. I don't want to wait around. Mm, I really want to... Housework a costume. Maybe I can get him to come into this over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I need a crowbar. Crowbar here, and there's a saber. Let's. Uh, yeah, okay, I got a saber. Oh, for opening the champagne. For opening the wine. Okay, I was thinking, wh why is there a saber here? I understand now. Uh, fire poker. Where's the? I 
I forget what the crowbar is. Lethal pills, we've already used those, unfortunately. If I can get a crowbar, I can turn off the power and then that guy will come out. I think I know where one is. <laughs> I love that I've got the, the, the sword on my back. And it's just like, oh, well, he's an unconventional security guard, but uh, we don't have we don't have any particular rules on what weapons each of our staff use. They they just wear whatever they they're most com they just use whatever they're most comfortable with. It's, it's one of our most popular employment practices. That and our dental plan. I think there's a crowbar lying on a. Don't mind me. Uh, did I run past it? Oh, I might run past it. Bugger. Just not suspicious. Not suspicious at all. Ah, uh, oh, crap! I think it's around the other side. I think there's some construction supplies around the side here, and I think the there's a crowbar on top of a crate or something. Ah, there we go. Crowbar. This level's great, by the way. Um, Normally, when you're uh, when you play through it in the story mode, and you do the actual like doing the actual murder mystery, is really fun. Um, okay, if I crack that open, I can turn off the fuse box. That gets him up. Wait for him to flick the TV back on. Interrupted his. Uh... Okay, I'm just trying to look like I have the faintest idea of what I'm doing. Let there be light. There you go. Right, and I think there was a cupboard in here. I could get rid of him in. Yep. Boom! All right, this is going smoothly. I now probably need to get rid of the uh, the saber. Sadly, whilst the security team has a open weapon policy, the house waiting staff do not. Okay, I have some freedom. Though I still need to be careful of enforcers. Of which she is one. So he should be on the ground floor somewhere. The only thing I don't like about these elusive target missions and stuff is that they still have the normal story characters in the mission. It's like, well, they're not part of this. Get rid of them. And so you just, you just, hey, you. you know, you're running around doing these, trying to sort of kill these dudes, and there's just your targets from other missions plodding about. Uh, he's hanging around somewhere with a security guard, and they're doing a tour, and he keeps asking to go upstairs and being told no. And then he excuses himself to the bathroom. I wonder if I have to activate him. What? Now you know that he starts in the garden. So let's see, maybe... If... Oh yeah, I think that might be him over there. Oh, and his, his security guard is enforcer. Of course he is. Right, well that's him. That's the guy I need to kill. 
I'm slightly taller than the hedge. So I can get... I could shoot his security guard with some poison and get him to go to the bathroom and then he'll be on his own. Oh dear. Damn it, why does this... Why does the staff know each other so well? Don't mind me. Just, uh... I'm just late for my shift. You know how it is. Gotta, uh... Okay, if you don't tell anyone about me vaulting over the thing, sure. Where'd they go? Oh, where did they go? I was talking to a guard and I've lost sight of them. Uh... Oh, there they are. My bad. My bad. Uh, well, that might be that costume. Compromise? They're only searching me. Okay, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. It's not compromised. They just... Got a little bit suspicious of me. And, uh. They're fortunately quite forgetful. Or poorly paid, or just lazy. There's any number of reasons why they would just decide, ah. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure that guy doesn't work here, but. I mean, honestly, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah, that is an option, isn't it? <laughs> bit loud, though. I mean, if I wait here, he will eventually go into the bathroom. It's just waiting for him is the thing. It takes so long. The other thing I've got to worry about is... I guess I don't need the painting. I just get bonus points for doing it. So I'm not going to bother. I was just going to say, if I accidentally balls up killing him in the bathroom, because what I've had happen before is he's gone in there, I've, I've choked him out, and then his security guard has just, like, sensed that there's something wrong. And... But I might just shoot him in the head. Uh, actually, that seems... Mm, maybe I shouldn't waste my one shoot in the head on a target that I can easily choke out because I might need to snipe someone. Oh, shut up. I don't want to wander around in case I get spotted again. Alright. I also don't want to miss him going to the bathroom because I'm wandering what aimlessly around the house. It's... Come on, where are you? Okay, there he is, there he is. He's also very, f my for whatever reason, my eagle vision that lets me see through walls can't see him very well. He becomes very uh, faded, but he is there.
think this is where he asks go upstairs. Okay. That's where he asks to go upstairs, and then he gets, gets told no, and then he asks to go to the bathroom. So I'm going to go and hide in the basket. Lady, move over. Thank you. So he should... <coughs> Be on his way over. And this knowledge is going to peter out after the first three, by the way. I only know this much because I've done it before. I imagine... I, I, I do have the Hitman wiki open so that I can just check for... their kind of patterns. It, it's It's... Kind of a nice middle ground where it just lets you know where they are and some of the things you can do without giving you a straight up walkthrough of how to do it, which I like. Because I, I like looking at the elusive targets, but they are sometimes very vague with the where they're going to be. And they'll sometimes show you them in places they never go. And there's some of them, some of the more annoying hidden targets will spawn in one of a handful of places. And so your first thing to do is just run around the map and try and actually find which of the few places they're in. And some are easy to assassinate them at others. Fortunately, the, well, actually, I don't know that the, any of the other six. The first four, that I need, three that I need to do, definitely don't. Come on, where is he? I'm looking for his uh, bodyguard more than him. I think that Nope. I think that is him. I thought he came here straight away. Oh. I think my controller might be dying. It's got battery. I was having problems with this when I was playing. Oh, it might just be. This actually might just be the battery's dead because I was playing Clono all day yesterday. Hang on, let me plug it in. But I was playing. Stranger of Paradise, and it was fully charged, but it just kept turning off. I think I was pulling a button too hard in trying to defeat one of the bosses, and uh, I don't know, knocking a wire loose or something. Where is he? Right, that's a that's a maid. I think that's the butler. Okay, but he's still over there. I think he's asking to go upstairs again. Maybe he has to ask twice before he gets he gets the idea to sneak away. Okay. Now he's on his way over. So what I mean, just a little just a fast forward button. Just you know, 2 3 times speed, that's all I need. So I'm not s spent so long hiding in a washing basket with an unconscious maid. Uh, I can't turn my head anymore to the right. I think he's out in the corridor outside this room, though. Oh, yeah, there he is. There he is. Okay, so we let the door shut. Uh. Uh. Right, you knock out in there. You, uh, how do I? I need to. Uh, there we go. Oh, dang it. Uh, uh, what, uh, what I was hoping to do is snap his neck and run away. 
but he was uh, unfortunately put died in such a way that I couldn't access his neck properly. This is fine. This is still okay. Okay, cool. They don't know where I am. I'd be, it'd be in big trouble if it, I looked up and it didn't didn't say optional next to retrieve the painting. Ah, <sighs> okay, that's two. All right, so I've done poisoned and I've done snap the neck. So I now have to. I could have got my cot. I could have got my uh, my suit back if I had. Uh... Had it snap the neck of the guy in front of the security guard. One star. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. I only killed one guy though, so I'm sticking. I'm sticking to it. All right. Uh, Philo Nucom. I think this guy is. Yeah, I think he's. It's like a wedding planner who. Yeah, like keeps falling in love with his wedding planner people. He is not in the business of fairy tale endings. When one half of a couple catches his eye, you come It's weird that we got two missions in the vineyard back to back, well, in the same arcade. To clear the way for his romantic overtures. Our client was once the subject of Newcomb's infatuation and lost the love of her life as a result. Having some suspicions, she's followed Newcomb's career closely ever since oh. and noticed a pattern of ill-fated lovers emerging in his wake. When she heard he'd been hired by a couple planning a destination wedding in Argentina, she contacted us about putting an end to Newcomb's sanguine love stories. Good luck, Cordy's offer. Okay. I don't remember. I I don't remember this one as well. I think I may have balls this one up when I did it. Um, go the emeritic poison. Oh, I took my regular gun. Uh, actually, no. The poison gun's quite useful. I'll smuggle in my gun. Uh, workers' bathrooms. Good one. I'll smuggle on my gun in case I think I need it. Oh, where am I starting? Parking lot. <coughs> so, he's walking around Mendoza. Same again. Uh, I like Diana's silly banter. Oh, I don't think, I don't think assassinations on the on on the cards on their gift registry. Um, so I, I think he's got a van somewhere, but I I don't know where. Um, is that the van? Newcombs. Oh, that could, that, that's, his name was Newcomb, wasn't it? Phil Newcomb. Okay, so that's his van. I'm not, this is, I'm not allowed in here. And there's a security guard. Normally I'd sneak down there. But there's not normally a security guard just standing there, blocking the way. Uh... So Newcomb will basically will walk around with the couple, and he hates one of them and likes the other one. It's a weird thing, by the way. They're a lesbian couple, and he's he's infatuated with one of them and wants to sort of steal them away. So he's really hoping that they're by. He's really sort of he's really sort of like put. I mean, he's a serial killer, so he's not completely uh, hinged and sound of mind. But he's yeah, he's really banking on the fact that. 
Um, that yeah, that they're they're interested. <sighs> is he going to finish his smoke and go, or is he just going to keep smoking? Let me just try something real quick. Okay. Mm, I could shoot him really quickly with the emeritic poison. Oh, no, that's bad, that's bad. That's bad. That's a bad start. Okay. That is not a great start to the third contract of this elusive target. Uh, it's fine. I just need to... Uh, Stay concealed. Those two are going to run away. I can't. I can't. Okay, well that would have been ideal. Because they all abandoned that one guy. And I could have... Uh, this might be bad. Yeah, this is, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yeah, that's it. That's game over. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Ah, oh, the emeritic gun was was too ballsy. And that's it. I'm locked out for uh, twelve hours now, which means no ducky gun today. All right. Well, I can still get. I can still try the other two missions to unlock it. I only need to beat them once, and then I can just have to go back and do this one in my own time. Damn it! I always. I always. I think. I. I think since unlocking the Emerald Gun, I had to rely on it too much. I always try and use it for missions. It's. It's a bit of a crutch. All right. These ones. Oh, actually, no. I think I may have done this one. Yeah, I do remember this one. He's running around just bugging people. Suggesting Jimmy Chen is currently researching a secret society for a US tabloid magazine. Good luck, 47. <coughs> uh, oh, they'll hit the. Well, that's useful. The. The Hitman Wiki has no information on him, other than the fact that killing him will also. Retrieve Jimmy Chen's dictaphone. Okay, so I can't kill him from a distance. Because um, I'll then need to find his body. Oh, and I can't actually set up. I have to go with what they give me. Okay. Well, no point thinking about it then. I'm just start with what I got and uh, play by ear. This level's... <sighs> yeah... This level's kind of labyrinthian, but I think I th think as so long as he stays to the party section, it should be okay. There's some cool stuff on this level as well. You can there's a, there's a couple of challenges I I meaning to do where like killing all of the targets whilst wearing a suit of armor and with a sword. Um, Sound is a fun one that I've been meaning to do. You can start as the, the one of the spawn points you can do is actually starting as the suit of armor, and you just spawn in, just standing there. It's great. So, 
So he uh, he's dressed as a waiter. So I need to walk around and find someone being a bother. I don't know if that does anything. He's in here. I think I need to beat up one of the pink guys and steal their clothes in order to go into the more restricted areas, which I think I think he does. No. I think she gives me a tour of the... Like, they, they're, they're advertising, like, bunkers to rich people in case of the end of the world. Um, it's very, it was all very Fallout. Uh, oh, I know, I know where he is. He's up by the bonfire. over here bothering this guy. What does he come over here at some point? I think he comes over here at some point to record in his voice recorder. Because he looks for quiet Sorry. Back off the pit, would you? Sorry, I thought you were the guy I'm trying to kill. I guess he's not. Um, I, I remember him coming in here for some reason, but I maybe I'm remembering a different... Do I have it? Oh, I have no weapons at all. Okay, good. Can I sense anyone? Wait, who saw me? Oh, whatever. Let's get this guy's clothes. He's got a fancy cape on. I'm pretty sure he's got more. Uh, he's got more clearance than me. So this gives me slightly more access to places, but not much. Okay, no, I think he's a regular guy from the normal... Forgot about enforcers. Forgot about enforcers. Yeah, there are going to be some guys who don't recognize, who realize that I'm not actually a, a, a initiate. Okay, it's fine. He got a glimpse of me. Oh, can't go very far without doing anything, can you? I 
don't think he's this far in, but I could be wrong. Okay, let's just sit down. He doesn't recognize me sitting down. I don't know. How I think at some point he changes his clothes from a waiter to something else so that he can get further in. I don't know that I want to go that far in. I think this is a yeah. Actually, am I not in here? Oh yeah, this is the museum. It's only enforcers. Right, there's that one guy. Oh, uh, stay out of the camera. Hmm. Man, he's really nondescript, isn't he? Oh, wait. Okay, well, there he is. I was just admiring the collection. Let me get out of the way, sir. Okay, well, this is the guy, clearly. <laughs> Stood in a corner, talking about a cult to his, uh, to his dictaphone. So, I have a wrench. This does limit my options. I've also used up my option to snap his neck. Which means I can't just... Snap his neck again. Uh... I can kill him an accident. I can kill him with a throwing weapon. So I could go and find a knife or a spat or a screwdriver or something. And slock it and sock him in the head when no one's looking. I could also dump him off the edge into the ocean. That'll kill him. I got a couple of options. I got a couple of options. Ooh, ooh. What's this do? Talking six figure advance on the movie rights. The only problem is like because I need to I can't just kill him. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, there's no no killing this place isn't 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 desirable. Uh Oh, that's the Indiana Jones guy. Oh, oh. Hang on. Can I do anything with that? Oh, I can climb up. <coughs> oh yeah, that's one of my target. That's that's one of the targets normally. She's fine now. I should have my guys toss you from the cliffs. You have any idea what your little son did to How do I lure him? I could put the fire escape. But I think that sets everyone that, that probably sets everything off in a way that isn't ideal. If I had a gun, I could shoot that chandelier down when he walks on top of it, but I'd still need to come over and loot his body, which might be suspicious in a room full of muse museum patrons. I don't know why. Then again, I did shoot a guy in a car park full of people a minute ago, so... I'm possibly not the best judge of character. I could take the katana, bonk him in the head.
Wait. Is that him? No. That's not him. He's gone over here now. Um. I don't know what to do. I could. I mean, if I broke that, that would probably cause a... That would probably cause a ruckus and might get him to move out of this room. Is there a winch for that somewhere? Man out up here. There either. No, okay, okay, okay. Calm yourself down. Ooh. This would be a good place to get him. Ah, but I don't have any poison. And it doesn't look like he actually stops to drink anything at any point. I just take a very long time cleaning up these broken glasses. Yep, what's up? Um. If I get up there, I can shoot that and that'll break the glass. Am I allowed in here, yeah? Cool. I do have a wrench, actually, so I can find the chandelier. Don't mind me, sir. If I can find the chandelier winch, I can I can t actually bring it down. That's the one for that one. There it is. <laughs> okay. This is actually, I guess, a way to kill these two. Uh, oh no, you don't want to kill him. You want to kill the one on the car on the left, uh, the lady on the left. I'll be in touch. Does beg the question how I do this without, with that guy, staring at me. Just because I can do this doesn't mean I'm able to. I could also kill him with the chandelier at the same time, because I think he does go over to it. The problem is just that I'd have to then at some point go over and loot his body, which wouldn't be terrible, but might be tricky. I think he's over there at the moment. For the time being, I just want to cause a ruckus and get him out of the room. Oh, should I just pull the fire alarm? Maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe the fire alarm will just... get everyone out. Because I'd have to... Yeah, I'd have to get in behind and take both of those two out. I can't remember how to do that. Am I allowed in here? I'm allowed in here. I cannot let you back here. I'm sorry. Step but, over. Yeah, but not upstairs. But I can go up there. That doesn't let me get to the window. I think I can go to the window. Oh, the rolled up newspaper isn't gonna do me a lot of faith a lot of help right now. If I can get I can't get it anywhere with a window. All right, I'm overthinking this. I've decided officially. I'm just going to pull the fire alarm. I need help right now. Please. 
Yeah, that, that works. This gets everyone out. Alright, let's just stick to him. Can you... Lady, there is a fire! Lady! Move! There is a fire! I, I cannot get past that lady in the door. Nope, you can't see me. You can't see me. He follows me in here. He is in trouble. Okay. Pulling the fire alarm was a solid plan, right up until that lady decided to stand in the friggin' doorway. Yes, sir. We are clear. If I could get rid of him, this would be a lot easier, actually. You're just gonna stand there staring at the door now, are you? Okay, no, he turned around. If they all come back in. No, oh, this is no good. Damn it. Oh, he's just back in over there now. That is him, isn't he? He's got the the shiny hair. If I turn that on, he'll see me. Actually, this might work. Ah, oh, that's a lot of orange. Okay. Right, well, turning on the music box. Ah, oh, dang it. Not that concealed, apparently. This is fine, this is fine, this is... I've got in a, I've got in a loop. Not fine. Okay. Ah, Jimmy Chen. Come on now, boy. Alright, we're not doing... I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not killing this, to be honest. Uh, more that I'm getting killed. Alright, we failed two of them, of the three I need to do. That's Ace Stratus. Join just to take it just in time to catch me fail. I I I was planning stuff out meticulously, and I had a really good plan, and then it got ruined by an NPC standing in the door and not letting me pass. <coughs> Alright. Third time let's see if we can get at least one of these tonight. <coughs> Considered by Vatican insiders as a strong contender to be the next Pope. However, ICA files indicate there is a series of links between the target and the Pinochet regime in Chile in the 70s and 80s. The target is currently on tour of Europe with a stopover at the church in Sapienza, where his itinerary states he will spend some time in prayer. He will be extremely well protected at all times by multiple layers of high alert security. Clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Okay. This might be a good one to snipe. Because the church has got quite a bit of outdoors areas. Um, so just get you up to speed, Stratus. I'm, I'm trying to unlock the ducky gun, which requires doing these escalation arcade modes. 
which when you fail them, you're locked out for 12 hours. So you can only do them once. Uh, I managed to do two and then failed the third one on the last one. And then I failed the first one on the second one. So this is the last of the three. So if I fail this, fail or succeed this one, that's it. That's that we're over. I'm gonna take my fancy uh, majestic sniper rifle. Uh, I've also put on some limitations in that I can only kill the target, uh, or I can only intend to kill the target. If I kill people as collateral, it doesn't count. And I can only kill targets with one. I can't use the same murder method twice. So I've poisoned one target and I snapped the neck of another target. So I can't do that again. So there's poison. Well, actually, the poison's okay because that makes me go to the bathroom and I can. Uh... Yeah, poison's okay. <coughs> so I haven't done this one before. But I think he just wanders around in the church. And it's all locked down. So I it's, I could dress up as a church person. Diana. Let's take the explosive go golf ball just in case. I like having that with me. And a knife. And let's get my sniper rifle. Don't need the Bartoli. So I could sneak into the manor and then shoot him because I think I got a good shot of the guards. So the church is over there. And in fact, so I'll get my get my sniper rifle out. This is a good way to sort of survey the area. Look at this majestic sniper rifle. So is that the small group of protesters? They're not not protesting particularly hard, are they? So he, th he wanders around the church, but I think he goes into the garden. I don't have a great shot of the garden from here. I can see, like, this little sliver. So if I go... If I get break into the mansion... Head up to that balcony over there... I reckon I'll have quite a good shot of the... Uh, of the garden. Let's go with that. Uh, let's put this back... Even if I dress up as a guard, they uh, they get a bit suspicious about. Uh, you stay here for a second. Even though I dress up as a guard, they get a little bit suspicious about uh, carrying sniper rifles. Kitchen assistants. And oh, look, he's playing Hitman Blood Money. Or actually, that might be a sniper assassins or something. I think this guy, in the normal story, there's a guy out here who's having an argument with his sister called Roscoe, I think. Oh, yeah, here he is. This guy, who's, he's having an argument with his sister. He's a... Uh, God, that's what I needed. Uh, he, I think he won a competition um, before Hitman came out. And now you can kill him, which is a great competition prize. Oh, oh hang on. I need this. No, 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 that's no good. <laughs> they don't like the guards with a sniper rifle. They definitely don't like the kitchen staff with one. It's for, uh, stirring pasta. There we go. Just 
an incredibly extravagant ladle. Right. Kitchen, guys. Now, I don't have a great deal of freedom as a, kitchen, as a member of the kitchen staff. So I can't go much further. Oh no, I'm still not trespassing. Yeah, so I got pretty good... Oh, do you know what? That pier might actually be... No, probably too low, too low down. Plus there's loads of people. Well, I, I could probably knock out those two. Yeah, no, this is fine. This is fine. So I think I'm... I think I'm actually, like, pretty hidden here as well. Oh. Not as hidden as I thought. Uh. Might need to... No, I snapped his neck. Oh. Sorry. I was trying to... I, I thought I, you went unconscious. Okay, sorry. That's fine. That was an accident. That doesn't count. Normally when you punch people, you have to, like, press X again to knock them out. But I guess that's only security guards. Oh, right, this is fine. I'll, uh... Have I not got all the costume, man? Some of these, some of these Hitman one and two levels, I, I, I always forget how little I've actually done on them, because I did them in Hitman one or two, and then didn't bother doing them again in Hitman three. And annoyingly, your progress. Some progress carried over, and some didn't. I forget. I think. I did some in Hitman. I think I did a lot in Hitman 1, and then the Hitman 1 progress didn't carry over to Hitman 2. But the Hitman 2 progress did carry over to Hitman 3. Something like that. Anyway, at some point he should come out into the garden. And I can just bop him in the head. That's my hope. I actually don't know this contract very well, so... He, he might not come into the garden. What do you reckon the chances are he goes up and inspects the bell tower? Um, I might have to get. I might have to go in close. Oh, uh, no! Nope, security guard. I, I can't see him from this distance either. I know I can get some church clothes. And I know I can get a key. So getting in isn't a problem, although they'll probably identify me immediately as not being a church person. At least... I could go in through the... Oh, no, no, they got the sewer. Oh, that's not the sewers. Where are the sewers? Been a while since I've done this map. Where the I thought that was, that's where the sewers were. Oh no, there's the sewers. I could go in through there. Hmm. Don't know. I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling this. I think he's going to come out in the garden. Oh. Wait. No, that's the regular. That's the regular um, priest. He's always there. I need to kill the evil priest. Which is, I mean, you know, different shades of grey. But hey, salutations, Fortnite fan. 
how are you? Hope you're dandy. I'm just waiting to snipe a, a priest. As you do. I hope you're dandy as well, Stratus. I forgot to mention that when I... Uh, when you when you popped up, I was I was engrossed in my failure at the time. Ah. Oh, you tried the Cuphead DLC. It didn't go your way. Tougher than not the uh, the bait, the main game is it? I'm bored. All right, let's let's do this the other way. Uh, I guess I don't really need this sniper rifle anymore, but I'll bring it with me just in case. Let's go and steal someone else's clothes. Oh, you beat it, but you raged a lot. Well, at least you beat it. That's the important thing. I was like with Chloe yesterday. You know? How am I trespassing? This is the roof of my house. Um, okay. From here, I can go down here. All right, sniper rifle, like you stay there. I don't actually need you. I can go through this person's house. Down here. Uh, don't worry, the clothes I'm stealing, no one's wearing them. There we go. <coughs> I know when I leave my clothes lying around, I also make sure to leave my. I want to put that away. I also make sure to leave my glasses with my clothes. Because I wear different glasses for with different sets of clothes. Actually, I mean, there might be some people who are who probably do do that. I, I have two sets of glasses. I have my normal glasses and the glasses I use to stream with. All right. So he recognizes that I'm not staff. I reckon there's probably some more security than there are church members, though. So, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Didn't think he was going to come out. I was still strategizing. Hello? Oh, your stream cut off before you, because your internet died. Yeah, that's that's always frustrating, especially when you're in a when you're enjoying the game or you're in a you're in a gro you're in a groove. I think I can run behind this guy. But, um... uh... Oh, do I not even do I not have anything I can hit this guy with that won't kill him? That's fine. Well, that gets rid of one enforcer. You're so focused a single sound from the real world will mess you up. Yeah, that is that is pretty focused, yeah. But, um, I'll, I'll wait until I've actually played it, because I don't want to... I, I, well, I don't want any spoilers, but also... It I, I feel like that sort of thing has doesn't have as much context. I'm from the church. Can I go in? Uh, sure, friend. Uh, you can go into the mortuary, no problem. But just stay out of the morgue for now. Sorry. <laughs> At least that you can go into the morgue, and it's like the mortuary. And it's like, I came out of the mortuary. But I can't go into the morgue. What's he doing in the morgue? All right, there's one, two, three, three, four enforcers. God damn it, it's never easy, is it? So, 
You've got to play as Kevin Mugman because you've got used to the controls from this child. Oh, I didn't realise they actually had different controls. I thought they, uh, I thought they were just skins for different characters. That's interesting. But yeah, no, I, I'm definitely going to play it now. I've, uh, I, I'm, in, I'm intrigued, and enough people, enough different people have requested it. So, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Okay, thank you. Okay, he's over here. Oh, God damn it, he is going up to the bell tower. Ah. Freaking guy, of course, he walks in as I'm trying to get out. Let me out. What? Come on, I gotta run. I gotta run and get my sniper rifle. This is fine, this is fine. I've got time. He's an old man. There's like six flights of stairs he's gotta climb. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, no, through here. Then... Up here. All right. There he is! Uh, okay, no, that's the, that's the security guy. He's always up there. I missed him. He's got he can have gone up there that quickly. <coughs> Salutations, your boy Baker. Exactly. It's a gun that quacks. Why would I not want it? Although I'm not doing, I am not doing very well at getting it at all. Oh, Got to be careful. That people don't look at me on the roof up here. Come on, where is he? He said he wanted to go up the bell tower. Hey, appreciate the follow. Thanks very much for that. Come on, old man. I know you didn't beat me up here. Where is he? Did he really get up here and go away before I before I got up? Ah. Oh. Dang it, I think he might have done. I, I bolted over here and he's an old man. Did he really did look up here like took two seconds looking at the view and then come back down again? Ah, dang it. Act so casual. I, you, you do get to a certain point in this game where it's just like, all right, I'm gonna need to electrocute this guy. I think there's a spanner, a, 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 a screwdriver over here and you, you do just sort of like just you do you become very Hitman Forty Seven in your in how cavalier you get with murdering people in different ways. But it's just annoying. I had my my sniper rifle out and I was waiting for him, and then he, I I got bored, and then as soon as I go over there, he's like, "Oh, I think I'll go up to that perfect sniper point," and then he's not here. Uh. What the fudge is a ducky gun? It doesn't shoot ducks. It it makes a duck noise. When you fire it, uh, and it's and it's coloured yellow. I don't think it shoots ducks anyway. Oh yeah, yeah, you go. Yeah, it's okay. it, it, it quacks when you fire it. It's also silenced. I guess that's because a duck's quack doesn't echo. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm using this thing, but I'm think too far away to see anything in the church. Annoyingly, but he said he was he wanted to go up to the bell tower to see the view. So I sprinted over here, and now he's not going up there. God damn it, old man. Why can't you be convenient? <sighs> All right, we're going to kill him another way. You get good cardio running back and forth through, uh, <laughs> through Sapienza, though. Uh, no, not through there. The front door. And downstairs, so. Sounds very unrealistic. Hitman's got, it's sort of, 
thre- sort of uh, like bobs and weaves between being realistic and unrealistic. It'll have it'll have some very realistic weapons and stuff, and then it'll also have you like, for example, I have an explosive golf ball on me at the moment, which is my favourite weapon because you can just you're supposed to replace it with. That's just the security guard. You're supposed to re- replace a regular golf ball with it. So when the uh, when he goes to swing, he blows himself up. But what you can also do is just peg someone in the head with it and it explodes all the same. So it's a very fun weapon. I wonder if I can get rid of another enforcer. That might make things a bit easier. Wait, so did he not go up? Did he just... Okay, uh... I need to kill you. Uh... I, I don't have anything to... There's no distractions in here to bring him in. Um, all I can do is hide in the coffin. Do you want some flowers? This is the guy I'm supposed to be killing, isn't it? Yeah. Do I have... Oh, I do have my emeritic gun. Uh, can I get a position where no one else can see me? Hang on. That's... That wasn't very good. Yeah. The emeritic gun screwing me over again. Okay, I think he's the only one who knows what I look like, though. <coughs> Alright. That could have gone better, but it's fine. I'll wait in here for a little while. Uh, oh, no, it's fun, I fan. He's probably already gone, so I only just read your message. Imagine I go on the loud and it just echoes for minutes upon one shot. I, I'd love a gun like that, just for like challenge modes. Oh, he's really, oh, he's really going out there. Right, I got a couple of oranges, and he's gone into lockdown now as well. Yeah. I think I was okay. Oh, my church gear is caught compromised now. I need, I need a security guard costume. I think my my church, uh, my I was okay where I was positioned, but when I went to open the door, I forgot I still had my seeker out, and so he saw me again. <sighs> That's why snipers have to be really patient, because people can sense when there's a sniper there. And the second sniper gives up, they poke their little head out. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're right, because I, I did watch that film with uh, uh, Bradley Cooper, where he's like, they go to go to relieve him and he's wet himself because he's been there for so long. Because he's just like, can't miss the shot. Got to, uh, got to get the dude... Alright, if I overflow the sink, will someone come and investigate this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, he's going down the wrong way. Okay, this is good. I can get a new costume. And I can get rid of I can get rid of my compromise status. Okay. All right. New costume. Let's get the gun. Make sure they uh, that doesn't cause any problems later on. Oh, look at me. I'm like a men in black. All right. How many of these people know that I'm not real? All right. The two guards at the front. The two guards down there. Actually, this costume pretty strong. There's not actually very many people in the church that recognize me. That's actually... Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Okay, I need to be worried about cameras, though. Although it is an optional objective. What can I do with this? Oh, I can blend in. Okay, I can't set the, gr- I can't set the grave up to explode or something. 
Um, all right, let's explore my options. <coughs> oh, you own the official explosive rubber duck shit. Sorry, I missed that comment. Um, that's amazing. I, I, I do. I did sort of think at one point I'd go and try and unlock all of the rubber duck explosives, but I've got one, and honestly, you, you don't really need more than one. They're nice, I guess, but. Um. What is? I don't know where he goes. I could poison that water, just in case he goes. Do you want to reckon the chances are he walks down here and has a drink? There aren't any guards or staff down here. Oh no! Never mind. Never mind. Oh, no, don't take the gun out. <laughs> Yeah. All right, where is he at the moment then? Oh, damn it! All right, well I need to go and destroy that at some point. Uh, I think I know where the security room is for the church. I think it's downstairs. Say the word, I'm ready. That's the one security guard up there. He must be down. That's the regular priest. He's not decided to go on a tour of Sapienza, has he? Alright. <laughs> Probably should have checked that there was no one in this room before I destroyed... Before I destroyed the recording. Uh... Oh, I can disguise as a priest. But I, I'm guessing, yeah, that doesn't actually, oh no, pre, one, oh no, no, this is, this is less good. Oh, it's, I think actually it might just be the priest and his guard, and that one guy who know. you'd think the priest would probably be, people would know the priest a bit better, but... The Fallout people in the Fallout universe don't have great facial recognition. Which probably explains why the only facial recognition device in the entire game can be easily uh, deceived with a print. Uh, with a printed out face and a 3D printer. Why is, why is Mario over here? Is he in the sewer? No, he's probably not in the sewer, is he? Where is he? This is a very small area. How have I managed to lose him again? God, he hasn't gone back up to the bell tower, has he? Hey, what's up? Wait. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. So only his head of security seems to know that I'm not real. Um, which would be weird. Are Michael Myers replacing Michael Jackson or Michael Jackson replacing Michael Myers? I... I don't know. Can Michael Myers dance? Because I could see Michael Jackson killing someone. But I don't know the way I could whether Michael whether Michael Myers could dance. So probably that. Ooh, can I? Oh, hang on, let's stay out of his way. Oh God, they're coming over here. This isn't suspicious. I'm a perfectly normal security man. Oh, is he on his own? Hmm, that 
wasn't what I wanted. But I guess that makes sense that he wouldn't be like, well, I guess I'll go and explore this on my own. Right, he is kind of on his own for a little bit now, because he's shaken off his security guard, though. Take good care of the VIPs. But not... Not very far. All right, this isn't working. Uh... I need to just follow him around for a little bit and see what he does so I can plan something. All right, he's going into the morgue again. Let's see what he does down here. Because maybe I can set something up to, uh, to plan, to, uh, to interfere with him. Oh, the world, I can see the seam of the world. The matrix is falling apart. Kenny Wiggins Stepson. Yeah, like I said, you get some good cardio running around Sapienza Lost. Just generally, yeah, you need to be in good shape, otherwise he just he just shows up and goes, yeah, I could tell you want a bodyguard because you're sweating through your uh, you're sweating through all your, your shirt and just from <laughs> completely out of breath. Alright, so he stands in front of the coffin. Then he stands there and looks in. So I reckon if I shot him, oh, I don't have a knife. I I could just I could just bean him and run. Screw it. God damn it. It's okay, it's okay. I can still... Now my bodyguard. Hang on, if I can just get upstairs. Just need to get away from the people that know that I'm not a real bodyguard. There we go. We're good, we're good. Hey, don't mind me, don't mind about that commotion down there. Nothing to do with me. Right, that's what we call getting impatient. I basically got impatient and hit him in the head with a knife. Ha ha! Still counts as a success, though. Only killed the... Oh, I ignore the chef on his neck I snapped by accident, but... Technically only killed the one guy. Oh, yeah. <coughs> that's probably a... A, sm a cleverer way of doing that, but we were in that map, map for 30 minutes and I got bored. Alright, let's see if I can see if I can do these next two. Maybe, uh, maybe a bit cooler. The Provocateurs. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Vito Jovic, arms dealer and sanctions buster. A gun runner. Let's see if I can get some information on him. Okay, that doesn't actually give me much useful information. Okay. At least I can plan this one. Um, dull, but I haven't got many... Oh, well, okay, I can't... I wanted to start in the, park, in the car park, because apparently that's where he is. But I guess we'll start in the bazaar entrance and work our way over. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's go to Santa. Is the hacker this... Useful on this one. So I, I've got the wiki open just for some extra information, but it just says that he starts in the East New England, the Swedish consulate car park. 
I don't know where I can snipe him from there, so I don't know. I'll bring the sniper rifle in. Uh, consulate parking area. Maybe I'll find a use for it this time. I imagine, likely though, not. At least I know where he starts, so I don't have to waste time running around trying to find him. That said, I knew where the priest was, and I still spent a long time running around trying to find him, so... Let's go. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, where is... I don't know this map as well, unfortunately. Uh... Oh, no, I know where the consulate is. There used to be some fun... Speaking of the rubber ducks, there used to be some fun rubber duck Easter egg on this level, but I think they took them out. I think they're only in Hitman 1, where if you shot at those helicopters that fly overhead, because uh, they, they fly overhead on a loop, if you shoot them, I think it's if you shoot them with a special gun or you shoot them enough times or something, eventually they will drop a load of explosive rubber ducks. Like, they'll carpet bomb the... Easy. They'll carpet bomb the area and um, with rubber ducks. But I think they took it out because it basically made the game crash. Because I was at one point trying to do all the Easter I, I did a stream back on my old channel where I tried to do all the Easter eggs in in one sitting, and I underestimated how long it was going to take. And, uh, yeah. Tried to do that one, didn't work. Uh, that's one use, I don't want to waste that on that. Where does that even go? Did that guard I kill... not kill, not unconscious. Did he not have a key card on him? Oh, stingy. Okay. You don't work. Yeah, hip. That's fine. He doesn't walk it. Walk any further over. Hostile area. I don't, I don't know really what I can do with an Interpol agent being, being one of the guards. Oh, I think that's him. Yeah, okay, that's him. So, I need a better costume, because this isn't going to be any use to me. Uh, oh, perfect. Okay. Uh, can I... Is there a distraction in here? Poison. Take that. Screwdriver. Take that. I think I only have one, but it always... Never hurts to have more than one. Oh, but I can't... Oh, I, I, okay, I can't use... Oh, that's my, that's my sniper rifle. I can't use my... I can't use a throwing weapon on to kill this guy, because I, yeah, I killed one of the targets with a throwing weapon already. I could... If I want to be really ballsy... I could get my sniper... shoot him from across the car park... But I think, I think one of these cars is an escape, but you have to get the keys first. So if I go get the keys, that's actually a good, yeah, that's actually a good plan. If I, get, I mean, that's a good plan anyway, um, if I do say so myself.
Um, now, if I if I wait for that guy to turn around, I should. No, look over here. It's all good. It's all daijobu. Oh, it actually was. All right. Good stuff. All right, cool. Uh, still a couple of enforcers, but better than being in a hostile area. Where's he gone? There he is. So yeah, I could just spank him from here. I mean, I could probably get him with my pistol, but I might be at this. I need to go get that car, the, the car keys first. I don't want to have to run all the way back through the market whilst I've got dudes shooting at me. Any of these guys recognize that I'm not real? Good, no. I don't know where the keys are, though. I think they're in a, they're on a desk in one of the offices that somewhere. Again, I, I've not, I'm not as familiar with this mission. I've done it once, and I've done a couple of the extra objectives, but I mean, I'll take a hammer. I love that the hammer <coughs> is considered one of the non-lethal options for bludgeoning someone. Beat someone in the head with a hammer, they won't die. Or a wrench. Guaranteed. Nope, nope, he knows, he knows, he knows. He knows too much. Alright, this isn't... Maybe it's in one of these tables. Here, but I need to be careful of... Oh wait, is that it? That's a key card, but that's useful anyway. Damn it. One of these guys is an Interpol agent, um, I think. <clears throat> this one's tough. But he doesn't seem to move anywhere. He's just stuck, surrounded by armed guards, which does make this tricky. And I can't remember where the key is to unlock the the escape down here. If I could get rid of those two enforcers, I'd be sitting pretty, sadly. I don't think the fire alarm's going to help me on this one. Hmm. I wonder what the way you're supposed to do this is. Because you should always be able to do any... Do I have three screwdrivers now? Yep. Alright, well I am... I am well placed to... Ooh, remote explosives. That's an option. Don't mind me. Question is, where does he go that isn't... Oh, I didn't bring my poison gun with me. Of course I didn't. Um... Does he drink? I have poison, don't I? 
I don't know that I can discreetly poison his water, though. Not without any of the dozen men standing around him noticing. Alright, so what does he do here? Just sits there playing on his phone and playing with his guns. And those three are... I'm not entirely sure what those three are doing. Just pointing their gun at a wall. Just in case. Can never be too sure. So he goes over... Oh, oh. I really thought I was okay there. If he comes in here, he's getting a wrench to the head. Oh no, a hammer. That'll do. Do you hear that? Yeah, he go. Oh. No, he didn't. Damn it. And I think I threw it under the friggin' shelf as well as I can't pick it up. He's gone back to normal, making sure that wall doesn't act up. That's what I mean. You can't, you got, you can't be, uh, you can't be too careful when it comes to walls. All right, that's definitely where I need to kill him if I'm going to kill him with explosives because he stands away from everyone else. But I need to get. His enforcers are the problem because, well, they're not much of a problem here, actually. But I'm pretty sure he'll see me. I mean, you're not wrong, but you are about the only person in this game that's actually spotted that. Normally people don't mind if I sneak around. Friggin' intelligent kill target. I think he'll notice the explosive is the problem if I put it on something. And also, it's, there's not very many opportunities where... Oh, I'm tempted to just shoot him in the head and run, but I can see that ending badly. But it's 11.40. Yeah, I knew I got the would get the wrong guy. Okay, you know what? I would stop right there if I was you. I turn it back on though. Oh, did he just follow me in here? Well, this is. Well, okay, that works. Dup, 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 dup. Out I go. Which car is it? Oh, it is this one. So I had the keys. I could have, like, exploded him and then. Yeah. Okay, cool. That I totally planned. Totally intended for that to happen. Just needed to act suspiciously long enough for the target to uh, to come and get me.
Santa away! Ho 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 ho! Well, they these have all been pretty, uh, these have all been pretty janky, but a win's a win. It does mean, oh, sorry. <laughs> don't tell me I'm not real when I'm running around. I don't need an ex, I just murdered a man. I don't need an existential crisis. God, it must be depressing being Santa Claus, having people tell you you don't exist all the time. Well, if he existed. Boom. Okay. I'm sure there was probably a more exciting way to do that mission, but... Apparently I hadn't done most of the uh, objectives on that one, so that's good. I get some location mastery. Look, I got a new gun! And a new starting location. Hey, But not the gun that I want. What I want is the ducky gun. Which I'm not gonna get, but... Oh, there's two of them? <sighs> good evening, Peter Sutton. Okay. Your target is a black hat <coughs> that goes by the handle protagonist. He is currently in Paris with his longtime partner known as White Cat. The two have been contracted by Dahlia Mogodis to execute a high profile hack tonight. No current pictures of the target exist, but he makes use of the hacker alias protagonist, and he often references a particular brand of cheap fruit jam available in Alabama. You will have to use this information to identify him. Really? The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Right, what extra information can I get? Uh, the protagonist. Oh no, what are they called? The. Pr no, he is called the protagonist, isn't he? Oh, the black hat. Uh, Alright, what extra information? The jam that he likes is orange jam from the American state of Alabama. Okay, I knew that. That's that, that doesn't help. All right, this one doesn't give me any information. All right. You walk around and ask everyone their favorite jam. I mean, yeah, kinda. That's uh. I guess I just need to go somewhere where jam exists. All right, there's no point me taking my gun, because. Uh, should I take my fiber wire? I haven't killed anyone with fiber wire yet. Yeah, let's take some fiber wire and I'll smuggle in an explosive. Um, oh, I haven't mastered France yet. I would have thought I would have done. Alright, we'll take the put in the stairwell. I know where that is. Let's take in one of my rubber ducks. Uh, proximity? No. Remote? Let's hit the pale duck. Or find Alabama orange jam and poison it. That's not a bad shout. The, uh, I've already used poison on one of the other targets, though. But I could poison it with rat poison. Upper floors, okay. Uh, no. Yeah, it's non-lethal, so I can put in some rat poison, and then he'll eat it and then go to the bathroom, and then I can drown him, which I haven't done yet. Uh, 
bum, 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 bum. Uh, there's rat poison in the kitchen. And I can get to the kitchen through this staircase. I reckon he's probably in the attic. Based on Diana saying the upper levels, because that's where I would be. Oh, uh, there's a naked guy in here, his clothes I can steal. There we go. And then I can get rat poison from in here, I think. Oh, Palace Master Key. Helpful. Uh, rat poison. I have played this level a lot, so I do remember. I do know it quite well, fortunately. In the kitchen, just the whole one poisoning me next to the salt. But that's where the rats are. Rat, you, 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 you rats are, you know, robbing your pantry. You're gonna wanna. I'm just having a quick look to see if there's any jam down here, but I imagine it's upstairs. That's that's where you want your. Uh, that's where your rats are. So that's where you want your rat poison to be. You know, as long as it's in a tube. So yeah, I reckon he's upstairs. Uh, I could drag this guy away back down. Yeah. Be on the safe side. I think someone. I think someone does use this staircase. When those orange jars, the orange jam. I uh, don't think so. I think they might have been decorative. I'll take another look though. Once I've dropped this guy off, there's a cupboard down here. I can hide him in. So there are some orange jars down here, and that probably is the jam, but I can't interact with them. So it's probably not the jar of orange jam. Oh, that's the wine cellar. Yeah, there's nothing I can interact with here, so we're good. They probably, re I, they, I imagine they would have reused the model though, so. Whoop whoop. That was me giving it up for the stage crew. It's like, what do you like best about the stage crew? I like how easy they, I, I, I like how small their lung capacity is. It's like, that's a weird thing to be grateful for, but uh, I mean, yeah, cool, fine. Right. I said the upper floors. I didn't necessarily say the top floors. But that's probably more than one floor up. Although I'm two floors up, actually. Think about it. You guys won't let me up, will you? Sorry, sir. I can't let you through. Nope. Got my order. Uh, I could probably get up as kitchen staff, actually. But I'd have, they'd frisk me, which means I'd have to get rid of... Uh, I need my gun, actually. Right up back here. Yep. Let's see what we got to work with. Take that. I don't need it for anything. I'm just a bit of a klepto. All right. Let's go get my... Uh, there we go. Uh, 
Now these guys should. Oh, no, no, they know that I'm not real. They know that I'm not real. They know that I'm not real. Oh, I might as well get my gun again then. Don't mind me. Just a very similar looking guy to the guy you were. Oh, actually, I could probably. Well, this works, actually. Yeah, no, this works. Improvise, adapt, overcome. That's the Agent 47 way. No one, please, no one use this stairwell for a few minutes, if you'd be so kind. Just pop them in there. Get the other, and then you can. You can both be naked in there together. Wouldn't that be a fun surprise if someone finds you in there later? Uh, um, did I not put... Did I not stash my explosive in this corridor? Oh, no, it's over there. I thought I'd put it in this stairwell. I'm allowed a gun. Uh, okay, he annoyingly recognizes that I'm not the, his friend. Which I guess is understandable. Um, I don't have a coin or anything, though. Oh, he also recognizes that I'm not real. His costume is less good the more I wear it. All right. I think there's a ladder, if I go in the back room, not be any camera recordings. Well, oh wait, never mind. Well, I was thinking about where the, uh, well, I was thinking about where the uh, security room was. They got captured on camera anyway. Fellas. Don't mind me. Just getting in my steps, doing a little bit of cardio. You know, these fashion shows, they can be a bit stifling. Okay, he's either going to be up here, or he's going to be a, a floor down. You. Um, I think there's a thing I can hide him in, but I don't think anyone comes down here anyway, so as long as he's out of the way. Ah, yeah, there he is. Convenient bin. Eventually, someone's going to cotton on to Agent 47's shenanigans and be like, Agent 47, we, we, we're fighting our greatest crisis yet. You need to assassinate the target. They've hired only female staff who are under five foot tall. They've, they've got no boxes bigger than, uh, <laughs> bigger than the size of a head. And they've... Uh... Set it up. I'm hoping the the it's up here somewhere. Yeah, they got no no boxes bigger than a head, and everyone is forced to memorize everyone else's face uh, before as part of their employment. Good luck, forty seven. I feel like I'm. I, there's there's other agents that you could call on for this mission. I don't think this is. I think sometimes you have to adapt the agent to the mission. 
all of these guys know that I'm not real. This isn't. This is annoying. So, hey, go on. Let's do a cupboard again. I'm gonna try not to rage. Well, I'm stream still streaming at the moment, but yeah, if I uh, when I finish, if it's not too late, I'll uh, I'll nip, I'll pop by. Give you a, give you a heads up. Oh, he doesn't know that I'm not real. And he doesn't look like a security guard. He is. Oh, but there's a guy over there sat down. He's probably going to be on a computer if he's a hacker, right? If I, was, I mean, I guess he could be doing it on his mobile. Okay, now that guy is just, that is a guard. He's just not a very good one, because he doesn't recognize me. Uh, don't mind me. Leg day. So this guy's on a tablet. Okay. <laughs> he really saw me, but decided not to do anything about it. Come on. To call him the protagonist. Don't mind me. I'm hiding. I don't think this is him. They're talking about just a normal guy. Um, I'm not seeing any jam either. I don't know, I maybe may have made a mistake by assuming that he was in the at, in the uh, attic. Maybe he's, fellas. Maybe he's up in the auction. Oh, I know where there's a computer. Say the word, I'm ready. There's a computer in here. Okay, now that's just... That's the same computer as the one from the main mission. That's no help. That's no help. I could kill that lady, but she... I'm pretty sure she's the same assistant from the main mission as well. So she's probably not the protagonist. Uh, any guys like jam? Jam, jam anyone? Anyone? Any of you guys like jam? Probably not any of those guys. Uh, jam, 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 jam. This is a tough one. Like, I, 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 part of it is just I need to find the guy, and then, oh, can I not just like vault the? Hang on, I can. I think I can sneak behind him. <laughs> I told you about standing far, far apart from the wall. You know the mission's going to be bad. My suggestion does make sense. I, I, I absolutely think that your suggestion is 
Correct. Like poisoning the jar, and then. Well, he's got to be. He's got to be near the jar. Surely they wouldn't have mentioned it. But I still need to find it first. That's the only problem. So there's got to be like a lone jar of marmalade around here somewhere. Oh no, that's the guy who knows me. That guy also knows me. I reckon he's on this floor. <laughs> Which I know I've said, I think twice now, about two different floors. But that's why I reckon he's on this floor. Because I'm running out of places he can be. I've just gone into this, done a loop and run into the same bathroom again. The Sheik's still in here? No, I'm going. I think he's a room, a room or two over. Marmalade? Oh, maybe in this room. No, no marmalade. I've been calling it marmalade. I think I'm pretty sure they said it was orange jam. But as, as, it, as far as I know, orange jam and marmalade is the same thing. There's also two of them, but I only need to kill one, I think. Yeah, I only need to deliver the defeat the protagonist. Oh, this one's locked. Oh, this is just the Sheik's room. This is. I don't even think he's in here anymore, because I think he's upstairs at the auction. It's a bad time to mention that some of these uh some of these elusive target missions are on a timer. And when the characters do... When, when the targets do the thing that they're here for, they leave. Uh, aren't I the protagonist? <laughs> oh, you just, just turn the gun on myself. And it's like, well done, 47. You figured out the puzzle. You've won. You've assassinated your target, but at what cost? I legit don't know where... I, I've been everywhere. And I've seen no marmalade, nor have I seen any characters that I, I really recognise as being... outside... Like, Maybe there is no marmalade. Maybe all this time I've been chasing... I've been chasing a dream... that doesn't exist. Well... Uh... Now that is unfortunate, because I can't hide this guy. I, I can't put him, because uh, I've already filled up the, the chest down there. Is there anywhere I can hide him up here? I don't think anyone comes into this walkway, but I always... I don't like that red sign there that says unconscious witness. It just makes me... Uh, makes me paranoid. Do you reckon if I dragged him in here, that guy would see me? Although I reckon this might make things a bit easier as well. I closed. Right, I, I got a scheme. I got a plan. I'm gonna solve two of my problems. No, no, no. Okay, I, I think he's, I think he heard the noise. I don't think he's seen me actually drag the body.
<laughs> yep, okay. Good work, security guard. Alright. And now... I can drag this guy... You totally can fit one more body in there if you squish him in. But the game doesn't like you to. It's like, no, 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 no. Two's your limit. Don't get greedy. There we go. Boom. No more unconscious witness. Just a bit for good measure. Grab his gun. And away we go. Alright. I might check where this guy is because I've... <coughs> I've run around quite a bit, and uh, I'm not. I'm not getting. I'm not finding him. Owen Wagmer, Hitman Three location. Oh, he is in the attic. I guess I just didn't go. I just guess I just didn't find him. Okay. There we go. Right, back up to the attic then. That's not him. Oh, did he find a gun? Oh, I I see what happened. When I picked up my I picked up his gun, I dropped my gun, and he heard the sound of me dropping my gun on the floor. Right. Alright, so there's apparently a vacant room in the attic, previously vacant room, that is now being used as a p computer room. And that's where I can find him. So I wonder if he's... Did I just, did I run through the room thinking it was vacant? Because this is where I came up from the ladder earlier. No, this room's still vacant. Okay. And didn't I? Let's say I. Let me spark this guy out. I guess he got replaced by another... He went, ah. Oh. John's left his post. Give, uh, give Steve a bell. Get him to, uh, get him to stand up. We need someone to, we need someone to guard that vacant hallway. Was the guy on the PC? No, he's normally there, I think. Or at least the PC's normally there. I'll go give him a look, though, because he doesn't recognise me, at least. This security centre's always here, though. Who's saying that? I don't think that was him. But yeah, no, he's just a security guard. Was there anywhere? Oh, maybe over there. A lot of people who know I'm not real, though. That's the guy on the tablet that I looked at. He's... What the? So maybe he's dressed up as a... Security guard, then. Oh, I don't have... Missing key card. Oh, he's, he's in there. Um... Uh, 
I'm stuck on a thing. I'll go destroy the camera footage in it later, don't worry. Um, although, it would have been really good to have had my silenced pistol because I could shoot the camera out. Yeah, if I spark him out, there's not going to be anywhere here to dispose of the body. But what I can do... Oh! Mm. <laughs> it's... Balls up. Right at the end. Ha ha! Oh, damn it! God damn it! I failed all of them. He why he turned around right as I shot him in the head with the freaking dart. I was ah. Oh. God damn it! I can't believe I cocked up all of them. And I can't play any of them again until tomorrow. I'm so bad at this game. I managed four out of nine. And failed three. Did well, technically I failed five, because I couldn't even get to play the la the second two on the liaisons. Ah. Alright, well I know where to go I know where to go when I do find him at least. That's good. But uh Ah, it's disappointing. I was hoping to get at least one tonight. <coughs> Alright, well I, I shall I shall try and get them again. Now that I know the map, well, seven of the maps a bit better. I shall try again to get the ducky gun another time. In time for the new map that they're adding at the end of the month. Because I'm want to. i going to stream that because I, I, I do love Hitman. And it's been a while since there's been a new map. So I've been excited to explore a new, entirely new area with new objectives and missions and stuff. Um. Ah, so annoying. So annoying. Oh well. <sighs> didn't get to sit down. We didn't get to see the marmalade or anything. Like, can I? I'm gonna see whether you can actually poison the marmalade. Uh, <coughs> like, I want to see whether that was that was actually the solution to that. Uh, black hat. How to complete. My plan was I was going to get that guy sick, follow him to the bathroom, knock him out in the bathroom, and then see if he dropped a security card. But he didn't. Now that I know there's a security card, I'll just take one with me into the mission. So, when you reach the door in the back, you find a card, it's car, uh, what's there? Two and four cigars. Uh, one of the forces will walk away from the door leaving his buddy alone. Hide and let the patrolling walker walk by, then quickly shoot the camera with your silence pistol. Well, the second force is distract and investigate the disabled camera, subdue the patrolling enforcer. Yeah, I didn't have my pistol. They quickly subdue him, the other enforcer, while his back in turn. Yeah. Yeah, this would have been a much better way of doing it. Ah, oh, you can use your lethal poison vial to poison the nearby jam jar. So you can absolutely poison the marmalade. <sighs> but sadly, we won't get to see it happen because I am inept. I am inept and we couldn't get to the marmalade. I'm sorry to have let you all down. Anyway. Oh, well. Nice little bonus stream. Killed a Sunday evening. So, thanks for watching. If you did, I'm going to call it there because I literally cannot play any I can't, like I can't even try and speed run the failed map I have to wait 10 hours so yeah uh yeah uh yeah next stream's tomorrow Sonic we're gonna play Sonic 2 and Sonic Origins as Knuckles we're gonna be lots of fun so 8 30 see you then
Otherwise, I'll see you when I see you. Thanks for watching if you did. I've been Jack Dandy. You've all been Just Dandy. And I shall see you next time. Good night.